Hi everybody, it's Sam and Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This is just a quick little kind of how to, um, I guess a little tip maybe. Um, but basically this is um, how to open and unpack your Winker Stella. Now I purchased my Winker Stella months and months and months ago and it was running out. And when I, I remember when I first got it, it took me ages to work out how to use the thing. And um, it's, yeah, it, once you know it's dead easy, but it's though it doesn't tell you on the back what to do with it. Um, and there's nothing inside either. So whether I was being completely blind, but I checked again on here and it does not tell you how to assemble your Winker Stella pen. So I promised myself that when I buy it again, I was gonna do a quick tutorial. Now I've got two here. One is for my mum and tomorrow is Mother's Day. So um, this will go up on Mother's Day just so that it doesn't give away that I've obviously brought this for her. Um, but basically Winker Stella is this gorgeous um, brush pen. Um, which is full of all different kind of colours. I always like the clear one. Um, and basically they contain mica, which is a non-toxic mineral, and it gives us this, this like shimmery metallic finish, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, now, you can get into a mess with these if you do them wrong, which I did, so I'm speaking by experience. So um, basically what I do is, what I'll show you is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prepare the one I'm gonna give my mum so it's all ready for her. So it comes in the box like so, a little package. And you'll see here that this one has this black piece on here and the one that I've got here now doesn't. And this is the piece that you have to remove, which I didn't know you had to do. So basically you've got the end here, which is the top where it says Winker Stella, this is your lid and it says there um, that this is the clear 999. I'll share all the links as well. And basically you wanna unscrew this top one. Oh, no, sorry, it's the lid, it's the bottom one here. E7, let me get the right one here. So yeah, the end, sorry, that says push, all right? You wanna unscrew that one. So if I can just get it, if I take that end off first anyway, there we go, that's a bit easier. So just take that off and you'll see that that black piece just comes out and that is just, just throw it away, you don't need that at all. And inside there, you could probably can just about make it out, can you see there's like a little kind of piece that sticks out, that is going to poke inside the top of this. So just like when you get a new um, like toothpaste, you, you get the cap and you turn it upside down and you push it in and it, um, and a lot of cosmetics are like that as well. It's the same kind of principle. So now you can just pop that back in again and screw it right the way down to the end. And now when I put the lid back on, it's completely flush. Now what you want to do is pop it upside down so the lid is on the bottom, okay? So this bit's just facing down and just shake your pen. You can hear there, there's like a little, um, probably a little ball in there and that's just mixing it all around. And now this bit here all around the, the actual, um, towards the end here, towards this brush, it's completely dry. None of that pigment has come through yet. But what you wanna do is very carefully just push, if I just squeeze, and you can now see it's come out on the other side here. Can you see now the pigment? If I just bring that up, the glitter is starting to come. If I do it on this side, you can probably see. Can you see it starting to move as I squeeze? There, you can just see it all starting to come. The more I squeeze it, see there, it's just all starting to fill up. Now don't fill it too, don't do it too much. Once that's kind of in there, then just shake it again. And it's a bit like um, a lot of like the chalk pens and things like that. You have to kind of start getting that pigment soaking into the nib. And once you've done this, then that's it. So now I can see that it's all coming through there. I probably shook it a little bit um, heavy there. But now I've just got a piece of black scrap card and you can just see, I can start to brush that on there. And then if I bring that up, can you see that shimmer? Now you can see it's kind of got a wet effect. That dries completely clear and all you'll be left with is that shimmer. You won't see that slightly different color of the wet black card to the dry black card. That will dry all the same and it will just leave this glow. And when I was doing these two, um, these cards during this week's Facebook Live, I did say, oh, they really need some Winker Stella. So now I've got it here. You literally just brush it. And it doesn't matter if you go over the edges. Like I said, it all dries completely clear like glue and it will just leave that stunning color, um, if you are using color. All the um, the colored ones are colored glitter. So again, it will dry and just leave that color. It won't leave, um, you know, any kind of brush marks and stuff like that. 
And then if I just bring that up, can you see if I can get it catching on the light there? Just starts to come together. I absolutely love these. They are just that, you know, thing just to have to just finish off any of your kind of card crafts or boxes and things like that. So I'm now going to go and uh, go over all of the cards that I wanted to just give a little bit of shimmer to. Again, you can just kind of make it out there. But that is how you put it together. So now, all you need to do every time you use it is just very carefully just push a little bit. You don't need to push lots. These last a long, long time. I got months and months and months of use and I was using it a lot. Um, but there you go. So it was just a quick little video to show you how to put it together because I really struggled when I first received this. So I hope it's helped for anybody out there and if you are interested in getting one I'll share all the links to where I've got mine from and um, yeah hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Bye!